From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, everyone. This is Ropecast, and I am Peter Tischer. And this is Roger Charlton. Hello, Peter. Hello, Roger. Uh, Peter, you were saying just now you do have a topic for us today. Well, it's the topic I talked to you about a week ago. Uh, it's not a suggestion of mine, but it's a suggestion by our sound technician, Philip. Oh, yes. And he said, can't you do a podcast on proverbs? I remember, yes. I actually checked this out. Mm-hmm. And you know what I found? What? I found exactly what I expected. Proverbs, Jeez. proverbs in the strict sense, are hardly ever used. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so if the learners out there are thinking about how to learn efficiently and effectively, then yes. maybe proverbs should not be high on the list. Okay, what should be high on the list? Isn't there, isn't there anything similar then that they could learn? I think there are other kinds of what I would call fixed expression, like idioms, frequently used quotations, okay. catchphrases. Some of these are much higher frequency than proverbs themselves. Could you give us an example for an idiom that you would call frequently used? Yeah, um, something like, well, many of them are actually metaphors. Okay. So, to nip something in the bud is to prevent something developing, especially a problem. If you catch it in the early stages, it doesn't develop. A bud is something from a plant, right? From a right? plant, yeah. So, if you don't want a plant to grow, you nip off the bud, the thing that is just growing and about to open, ah, okay. and you stop its development. Right. So, there are so lots that would like be a good expression to learn. Yeah. One more? <laughs> All right, then. Turn the clock back. That's an easy one. Yeah. That's, uh, that is sort of going back to an earlier stage, which is probably not very good. Yes. Right. Turn the clock back. Yeah. So, there are um, lots that's, of things. That even exists in German, die Uhr zurückdrehen. Yeah. Okay. Nevertheless, it is a metaphor. Right, right. It's it's not recognized as a metaphor anymore uh-huh. because it's so frequent, I guess. Yeah. And then there are some examples which I think derive from proverbs. Mm-hmm. Like when you say, oh, that's the last straw. Last straw. I know that. That is, you know, I've had enough. Exactly. But I don't know where it comes from. Well, that comes from, the full expression would be, it's the last straw that breaks the camel's back. Ah, okay. I never heard that one before. No. It sounds almost like it's, you know, from colonial times. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have very many camels in Great Britain, are No, there? no. Yeah. But going back to Philip's question, um, aren't there any frequently used proverbs at all? Well, the proverbs, the, the things that are in the form of a complete sentence that you can use in their totality, I only found two that are relatively frequent. Okay. One is, old habits die hard. Okay, that is, yeah. So, things that have been going on for a long time are hard to get rid of or hard to stop. To interrupt, yeah. To interrupt, right. And the Uh other one is, Uh every cloud has a silver lining. That's a little bit more difficult to understand, I believe. Cloud, Um, um, something that might bring rain. Mm -hmm. So, something unpleasant. Yeah. And lining is what you have, let's say, inside your coat. The outside Mm -hmm. is maybe quite rough wool. Mm -hmm. Inside, you want something smoother Mm -hmm. next to your body. It's this smooth material inside is the lining. Which is pleasant. Yeah. Right. Couldn't it be also the edge of the cloud, the lining? Exactly, yes. Because, you know, like where it's shiny and all nice. But the meaning of the saying is also um, there's something good in every bad. That's basically. Yeah. So, uh, Philip, you're listening out there in the recording booth over there. So, you heard it. We had a few proverbs for you. So, there was a silver lining to this podcast for you, too. And I hope for our listeners as well. Please tune in again when we will send you the next Ropecast. Goodbye. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. Thank you.